Hello guys and welcome back to this place again. Today in this class I am going to discuss a very 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 important topic that is tenses. In your schools or in your earlier classes you must have heard from your teachers that if you want to learn grammar you have to understand tenses right exactly friends actually the basic need to you know about tenses is to understand not just to cram and learn them but to understand so looking at this point today we are going to start a series of tenses in which every video will consist of few facts and how we can apply tenses so let's start the very first topic of tenses that is introduction to tenses see tense is that form of a verb which shows the time and state of an event like if i say i want to know when the work actually happened or is it really happening right now means we use tense to understand the form of verb like when is the main perspective in understanding the tense so we can say that tense is a form of verb which shows the time and of course the state of an action and an event to specify an action we have basically three type of tenses number 1 is present tense in present tense we see what is happening right now means at the moment like if i talk about this moment in that case i will use present tense next one is past tense like what actually has happened in the past now that work is finished that work is finished that means we are not doing that right now in this moment okay and the third one is a future tense that means what we are going to do so these three are the main specifications of time okay now let us understand the sub types of these tenses also each of these three tenses has been divided into four forms under the following headings as you can see this table see this table is very easy to understand and we will go step wise like see basically we have three tenses present past and future and each tense is further subdivided into simple present tense present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous that is simple present present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous similarly in past also we have simple past then past continuous past perfect and past perfect continuous and in future we have simple future future continuous future perfect and future perfect continuous we will understand all of them one by one and we will start with the very first present tense so let us see what a present tense holds so in present tense first we will discuss simple present tense sometimes simple present tense is also called present indefinite also in simple present tense we use subject with first form of verb how see see 
you can see a table here when the subject is i we you and they we use a verb like work eat live but when the subject is he she or it we use s with that verb like works eats lives actually this concept is based on subject verb agreement which denotes this s as singular verb with singular subject so here when the subject is i we you and they we use work eat live but when the subject subject is he she or it we use s with the verb s or es depending on the verb so works eats and lives now let us see where we can use simple present tense first of all simple present tense is used to denote a habit custom any habitual action like practice a general truth some repeated actions etc so let us see a few examples where these things like habit custom truths and repeated actions are taking place to understand it in a better way here are a few examples i have written see he goes to school every day it's a routine action and the boy is doing it regularly now see here i have used subject as he and i have used es form with the verb go so he goes to school every day is representing a routine action so i have used simple present tense now see the sun sets in the west it's a universal truth that every day every uh, you know evening sun sets in the west so this truth is a universal truth so we used simple present tense here see one more example i get up every day at 6 o'clock it is a repeated action here see every day if one person is getting up early at 6 o'clock there are two possibility that this if he is doing it on a repeated basis it is a repeated action also it can be considered as a habit because he is doing it on a regular basis so we can use what simple present tense see i used i and i used verb get here there is no s e s with i now simple present tense is also used to express facts like see these examples she sings so well it is an ability about that girl that yes she sings so well it is a fact about her life see she works as a teacher we uh, have discussed any career point or any particular fact about her so it is a fact of her life that she works as a teacher see water boils at 100 degree celsius this is again a fact of water so we used simple present tense to express this see i want to clear one thing here that facts can be about people or or they can be about things in the world like as i have used water boils at 100 degree celsius now this is a fact about water so they can be about anything in the world so these were the main uses of simple present tense in our next video we will see further subdivisions and we will learn about further divisions of the tenses till then keep watching keep learning